110 is one of the very finest sports cars money can buy. Proof that you don't need a big engine to have fun, the diminutive French coupe can out-accelerate Porsche Caymans thanks to its 1,100 kilo curb weight. It may only have a 1.8-litre Renault engine, but that is all you need in a car this light. It's perfectly civilised on the road as well, with its supple ride and frugal motor, making it a great everyday car for those who don't need any back seats. However, we've always wondered what a truly focused Alpine might be like, one designed more for on-track use rather than day-to-day. -day. And now, we have the answer. This is the new Alpine A110R. Sharper, stiffer, and a whole lot more expensive, this is the ultimate Alpine for those looking for a pure track day weapon. Like the standard car, though, its specs are nothing to shout about. Its four-cylinder engine is carried over from the standard car, this time producing 296 brake horsepower, the same as an entry-level Porsche Boxster. At £97,000, it's over 40 grand more than the regular car. And that sounds like an awful lot of money for a version that produces no more power than an A110S. So what do you get for all that extra cash? Well, even at first glance, it's clear that this is no regular Alpine. It gets a vented carbon fibre bonnet, a sports exhaust, loads of new aero bits, and some very expensive looking carbon fibre wheels that you almost certainly do not want to curb. For an extra six and a half grand, you can even have it painted in the same matte blue paint as Alpine's F1 car. The new aero kit consists of a new carbon front splitter and side skirts, plus a big rear diffuser and swan neck mounted wing for increased downforce to help keep it planted on the corners. And that is exactly where the R is intended to really perform. The chassis has been thoroughly reworked with lower, stiffer suspension with manually adjustable dampers that let you alter your compression and rebound ratios. The anti-roll bars are stiffer too, while those gorgeous 18-inch carbon wheels are wrapped in ultra-sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. The wheels also channel air onto the new Brembo brakes with increased stopping power. Further adding to the new race car feel is the carbon engine cover in place of a rear window, while the bucket seats with six-point harnesses eliminate any pretense of practicality. Despite all its aero add-ons, the 110R is 34 kilos lighter than the S model, getting the little racer from 0 to 62 in under 4 seconds, onto a top speed of 177 miles per hour. However, the A110 isn't the only mid-engine sports car that's been on a diet. This is the Porsche Cayman GT4, a lighter, harder version of the Cayman GTS, complete with a mighty 4-litre naturally aspirated flat 6. It may have 414 brake horsepower on tap, but it's half a second slower to 62 than the Alpine, although it beats it on top speed at 188. It's cheaper too at £81,000, a significant saving, especially with the added cachet of that Porsche badge. As a product of the Stuttgart brand GT department, it's every bit as track ready as the Alpine, with aggressive aero and the option of a proper manual gearbox. It gets auto blip to help you out around a twisty circuit, but it can be turned off from the proper heel and toe downshifts if you prefer. As standard, the cabin is a lot more user-friendly than the Alpines, but just tick a few boxes, you can add harnesses, a roll cage, and even a fire extinguisher. Both of these cars are evolutions of already brilliant sports cars. Whether or not you need all the extra race car equipment is up to you, but if you're after a real track car experience, both Porsche and Alpine have got you covered.